It's well recognized within our maritime industry that accidents happen because of a chain of events. I believe that sharing key pieces of experiential knowledge through mentoring can break that chain. Through mentoring, we enable seafarers to make good decisions and ultimately, we prevent accidents. In this film, we'll explore the link between mentoring and safety. Does a culture of mentoring and openness create safer ships? Let's discuss it. Every ship is completely different. Every trade is different. And the person working on board ship may have some background knowledge, but they need to get to know that particular vessel, all the safety equipment on that ship, no amount of teaching at, at college and taking safety courses is actually going to prepare them for that one specific vessel. Incidents will happen if just one person, whether it be the bridge lookout or somebody handling an anchor, um, is not on top of their game. So we use mentoring to ensure that, that people could fit into those sort of environments in a short time of space and then uh, from then on, uh, conduct their duties, uh, um, you know, 100% of the time and how they were. Mentoring. You talk, you share, you analyze, you, you bounce off each other, and then you understand. And then you behave because you understand. If the fire breaks out, they can't dial 999 and expect the fire brigade to come. Every single person has to be relied upon, whether it's a small cargo ship, a big passenger ship. Everybody needs to be shown how to do their particular job. Okay, when I started sailing back in 1981, I still sailed with captains. We were the old grizzly North Atlantic captains and it was their ship. And yeah, they had the experience. So they brought the ship very safely over to the other side. But the people who followed them through the ranks took years and years and years to get to where they had to go because the only thing they could do was pick up bits and pieces out of the gospel of the captain every morning or better said the yelling of the captain every morning to build up their own experience. And I remember that when I was on the bridge, the captain suddenly changed course. And I thought, well, why is he doing that? I don't ask the captain, not in those days. Then later on, we trying to figure out why he was doing that. It turns out, a very simple thing, in this certain area, the current changes unexpectedly, and he knew that. And I thought, okay, how wonderful would it have been if he would have told us what he was doing? He would have learned, and we would have could have used it next time. Now maybe next time he's not there, and we plow straight to this back eddy or whatever it is. This is not the way things should go. The knowledge is there, share it. Sharing their knowledges, sharing their experiences, that is uh, how mentoring works. You have to share with everyone how you do it. If we go in and see the accidents and the incidents that have happened over the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years, what kind of atmosphere was on, on board? Was it an open a bridge resource management uh, or was it a don't talk to me unless you, I mean, and, and unless you talk to, um, if you see I'm doing something wrong, then don't tell me uh, because I don't want to hear it anyway. So I think back to uh, an incident, one of her youngsters I was teaching told me, she's taught safe practices at, at college, particularly entering enclosed spaces where we still see many, many accidents happen. And she saw people entering the hatch without taking any of the precautions. When she spoke up, she was literally told, well, what do you know? You're just a cadet. We do it this way. That's not mentoring, is it? And that leads to unsafe ships. 85% of the accidents at sea are human related, but it could be reduced for a large amount if we would be more careful, 
spend a bit more time looking at our environment, we be less, less hurried. And mentoring can have a role over there. According to current opinion, about three quarters of our skill base is learned from experience. I'm convinced there is a direct link between mentoring, sharing experiential knowledge and creating safer ships. I truly believe mentoring leads to a reduction in accidents and incidents at sea. But what do you think? Please let us know. Please join in the conversation through the Nautical Institute's social media platforms. And why not take a look at our book, Mentoring at Sea, The 10-Minute Challenge.